With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, let's start the question. The question says, if the kinetic energy of the particle is increased by 16 times of its previous value, then the percentage change in the wavelength of the particle. So now, you know that according to your debugly wavelength, uh, sorry, debugly hypothesis, your wavelength is equal to h divided by p. So here, we can write p as m into v. Okay. So let's say initially, you have your speed v and your wavelength lambda. And according to your question, your energy, it changes to 16 times of your initial energy. Okay. So your energy here should be kinetic energy that is half m v square. So now if I write my e prime, which is 16 times e, so I can simply write my e prime as half of m v prime square. So this should be equal to 16 times half of m v square. So which basically means my v prime should be 4 times that of v. So from this equations you can calculate your lambda prime so lambda prime should be equal to h divided by v prime so this will be h divided by m and v prime is 4 of v so this would be 1 by 4 h divided by m v where h divided by m v is your lambda so now your lambda prime is 1 by 4 of lambda so what will be the percentage increase or percentage change this will be delta lambda by lambda multiplied by 100. So delta lambda should be equal to lambda prime minus lambda divided by lambda then multiplied by 100. So what is your delta lambda? That is 1 by 4 lambda minus your lambda divided by lambda multiplied by 100. So here you can see your delta lambda value that will come negative. So your delta lambda by lambda multiplied by 100. So here you can see this will be negative. But negative only means that is your if your kinetic energy is increasing, then your wavelength will decrease. Okay. So now if you solve this thing, so you will get this will be around 75%. So the change in the wavelength is 75%. So you can see there is option B which is 75%. So that means your 75% is the answer. So I hope this solves your question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and neat level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.